traffic, and damage to neighborhood homes from the sinkhole is still not repaired. In February, a lawsuit brought by residents against the Columbia Water Company and other defendants goes to trial. It has been a long wait for residents like Ted and Carol Ortman, whose property may never be the same. Our homes are valueless to us. They're worth nothing, you know, because we can't sell them. And it's just inconvenient living here. Most of the damage to the Ortman's home was on the outside, like the front steps. Storm windows are not fitting well. But across the street, the sinkhole left its mark inside homes like this one. Walls are seriously cracked. The front wall of this home is being pulled away from the house. Front doors remain frozen shut. Over the last two years, life on the street has changed. In summer, there's kids out here playing all summer long because streets closed off and it's like a playground. And it's very trying when you come home from work and, you know, you have 40 kids out here playing ball. Even though the sinkhole case will be in court in February, it could be six months or more before any personal damage claims are settled. That's because the question of liability, who was at fault, will be decided first. In Columbia, Lancaster County, Ed Weinstock, New Center